the first part was the older was going to serve the, was going to serve the younger. The older one was going to serve the younger. So that means the older one was the first one that came out, which was the first one who came out red. When you so now, so hold up. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So look around you now. Look around you now. What nation of people are red? A two-legged person walking around on red. So-called white people, because they ain't really white. But it's not us. It's not them serving us. We over here serving them. But we took. But that we have. Okay, you are absolutely people. right. Because what we're talking about is we're talking about the the the, the elder son serve the younger. That is a future prophecy. You understand? We are. You are absolutely right. The white man runs the world right now with his armies and his military and everything. But there's a reason why that happened. Okay, so, so 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 we can drop that. So the reason why that happened was simply because we came out of Egypt. We came out of Egypt. The Most High God delivered us out of Egypt with Moses. He split the Red Sea. We walked through and we were in the wilderness. And what did we do in the wilderness? When we saw all of the great signs of the Most High delivering us from Pharaoh out of the wilderness, that should have been enough for our people to say, you know what? We have the true God. But what did our people do? Our people were stiff-necked, hard-headed people who started worshiping the gods of Egypt instead of worshiping the God who delivered us out of out of Egypt. And so, what happened? Our God told Moses, "If they don't, if they don't worship me like they're supposed to worship me and get rid of all their idols and their and their false gods, I'm going to turn my back on them. I'm going to turn my back on them." And it's going to be for it's going to be for signs, and they're going to be they're going to be known as a, a proverb and a byword, and, and they won't even they they're going to be uh, uh, enslaved in a far country by by some foreigners that's going to come and going to take you and enslave you, and the and the foreigner that we're talking about are the descendants of the firstborn. So the descendants of Esau. They are now called, they are now called, we call them the Edomites, or the Bible might speak of them as Idumia, okay? But they basically are the Germans, and they basically are the, uh, the fake, the fake Jews, and the Russians, and all, the French, and the, um, the British, the white British, the Irish, all these nations of people, they are going to, they were going to spank us for the most high. For us being stiff-necked and hard-headed, not following the law, statutes, and commandments, and I'm telling you, you got to do to be a spiritual being to get back with the Most High. Our people, like we're doing now in this day and age, we're doing the same thing. We are following the idols of our oppressor instead of following the laws of the Most High God. But the ways of our oppressor, like worshiping Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Halloween, Easter, all these is, is are the holidays of the wicked. And because we, because we have fallen into the wickedness of our oppressor, that we have been punished. God's chosen people have been punished, you see? And that's why they're in charge. But the Bible says, though, that we, for, we were going to eventually wake up out of our sleep, out of our ignorance, out of our worship of all these other false gods. A small number of us is going to wake up. The Bible says that two-thirds of our people will be destroyed, but one-third will be saved. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you got an opportunity to be part of that one third that's going to be saved. You understand? You got a part, you, you got a chance. Because you're here today and we're teaching you what you got to do to get right with the Most High God by following His laws, statutes, and commandments. You understand? And so that's what happened. So he came out first, okay? But he sold his birthright to our, to our forefather Jacob. He, he sold his birthright. Okay, he decided to kill us and murder us and take us off the planet. He about to do all that. The Most High God hated him for that. And as a result, uh, he's going to be destroyed. But see, the Most High God loves us. Still loves us. Even though we're in the ghettos, even though we, we can't pay our rent, even though we fill up all the jails, we are still the Most High God's chosen people. Okay? And I'm going to get two more scriptures. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 76. Drop that. Give me Deuteronomy 76. And give me uh, Romans 9 and 13. Most High God loves us, you know what I'm saying? But He hates them because they tried to kill us, and we are God's chosen people. That's right. Okay? They tried to kill us. So this is what the Bible says. Watch this. Well, like, well, hold on. Like, think about it. We all came out of the same womb. But if you... But if you... But, but the Most High God chose a certain people. He chose a certain bloodline. He chose, he had
God. God is God. God chooses who God is God. God loves everybody. God don't love everybody. And that's why I'm bringing this out. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. I'm glad you said that. Bring it out. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written. The Bible says, as it is written. This is the New Testament. It was written in the Old Testament, the book of Malachi. As it is written. Jacob, have I love. Who is Jacob? Jacob is the second son. Jacob is the second born son. So the Most High God said, Jacob, have I love. But Esau. But Esau, the first born, the one that came out red. What did the most high come to say about Esau? Have I hated it? Esau, have I hated it? What? Have I hated it? No, God loves everybody. Have I hated it? God hates? Have I hated it? Have I hated it? The most high God said, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That's so, right. God is capable of hating and loving. That's right. God, God is capable of hating and loving. God is capable of Okay, so then why did, so why did, okay. Okay, so remember the story I gave you about the flood? Why did God kill everything on earth then if he loved everything? Because God's not going to allow you to destroy heaven. No, no, no. Mother Nature no. won't allow you to destroy heaven. Wait a minute. Either. So that was, no, what I'm saying to you, though, Mother it had to it had to have some kind of heat in that if God destroyed everything and, and left only seven people. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And the scripture tells you, the scripture tells you um, that he hated, he hated Esau. He hated Esau. That's what the Bible says. So now, so now you're going against what the Bible says. If you don't tell, if you don't tell people that God hated and loved. No, 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 no. I'm not telling people that God hated. The Bible read us with it. Read it again. Romans chapter nine verse thirteen. As it is read, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. So it's, it's playing upon tables. Now well, listen, this is why. Go ahead. What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with God? Is there unrighteousness with God? What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. That means hell no. God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Most my God said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy on. You know what I'm saying? He's the, he's the power. He gives you breath. He gives you life. You understand? Know you know. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. He said he'll do what? And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. He said I will have compassion on whom I want to have compassion on. That's right. It's not for men, men to tell to tell the most high God, no, he can't do what he do. No. Tell me that's not, I, what I we're saying I have is, and I have the same well, what, okay, well, what we're saying is that the Most High God, the Most High God is, look, look at it like this. The Most High God is like an angry, it's like a, look at the Most High God is like an angry black man who spanks his kids, who spanks his kids. No, no, uh, it's a metaphor. You look at him as an angry black man. If you do right, if you do right, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you gifts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you hugs and kisses. But if you do wrong. I'm going to spank you, or, or worse than that, I'm going to wipe you out. And so with that, I say, go on and holler about shit. I'm about to say, I'm shy.